In this video, I will show you how to install the latest version of VMware Workstation Pro. This is a full version or no expiration. Let's proceed. First is I will show you how to uninstall the VMware application. This is if you have older VMware installed or you want to replace. You can skip this process if you haven't installed yet this application on your computer. Go to the taskbar, right click on the start button. Choose installed apps. All the installed applications on your computer will be listed here. You can scroll down to look for VMware or you can simply use the search option. Just search for VMware and you can see the VMware application is present. If no then it means you don't have any VMware currently installed on your computer. You can see here the current installed VMware version. The installation date and also the file size. To uninstall the application. Click on the three dots icon or more options. Notice that the uninstall option is grayed out or not available so we will do the alternative. Choose modify. Click next to proceed. Here, we have the option to change, repair and remove. Since we want to uninstall the application then we will choose remove. We can save some of the settings but I suggest removing all the settings. I don't want to save the product configuration and product license information so I will uncheck both options. Click next to proceed. Choose remove. Wait for it to finish the uninstallation process. Click the finish button to exit the setup wizard. Now, if we search for VMware again then it's no longer present. This means, we have successfully removed the application. I suggest you restart your computer after the uninstallation process to fully remove the leftovers. Now, we will proceed with the installation process. Open your web browser. Search for VMware Workstation Pro Download. You cannot use their official website to download the executable file. Scroll down and look for TechSpot. Tick on it to continue. During the time of this recording, the latest version is 17.6.3. Below is the download options. The top one is the latest version. We also have the option to download the older versions of VMware. We also have the version for Linux but since we are going to install on Windows then we will choose Workstation Windows. Tick on it to download. At the top right, tick continue to download. A window will pop up. Locate where you want to save the executable file. Save to proceed and then wait for it to finish the download process. Let's now open the downloads folder. The file name is VMware Workstation followed by the application version. Double click on it to install. The setup wizard window will pop up. Click next to proceed. You must accept the terms in the license agreement. You can change the installation folder if you prefer. Leave this option enabled and then click next to proceed. You can leave this enabled if you want to check for new updates on startup. I also don't want to join the VMware customer experience. I personally disabled this two options. Next to proceed. Next is the shortcuts. Leave desktop enabled if you want to create shortcut icon on desktop. Same goes with the start menu. Click next to proceed. Before we click install. I will show you something. Let's open the network connections. Let's observe the network connection settings. Now we click install. Wait for it to finish the installation process. Notice the shortcut icon that has been automatically created on desktop. It's now installing network adapters. This will automatically create three virtual network adapters on your computer. You might be wondering why suddenly you have other virtual network adapters present. Do not delete or disable these virtual adapters or else the VMware won't work properly. Click finish to exit the setup wizard. Now, let's launch the application. Notice that there's no license warning or trial notification. This is because this application is now free for personal use. To check the VMware details, go to help. Choose about VMware workstation. You can see here the product name application version, etc. To manually check for application update, go to help. Choose software update. You can tick check for updates to automatically check and install updates available. 
you can now create a virtual machine. Open a virtual machine and connect to a remote server with no limitations or expiration. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you like this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.